businesses are getting ready to close up shop for the next two weeks per Governor Waltz's executive order. And businesses, businesses not considered essential will have to take a step back and reassess after the stay-at-home order is lifted. Uba Ali spoke with some local small business owners that are about to endure some difficult times. This is a whole different level of stress. Stress brought on by Governor Walls' executive order going into effect at midnight, shutting down non-essential businesses for two weeks. Floral is not essential. It's beautiful. It's essential for our livelihoods, but it's not essential to live. Brianna Prudell owns Fox and Fern Floral in Rochester and says she's never experienced anything like this before. Really very sad. Yeah. Being an entrepreneur and being in a small business, you never really know exactly what's going to happen. And she's not the only one. Professional photography services are very much a luxury. Like Brianna, Megan Kunstman is also being affected by the shutdown. Financially, super detrimental. Um, but also for our clients, it's super heart-wrenching because we don't want to be in this situation. None of us do. It's not only the loss of income that's difficult for both ladies, it's also about what their art did for the community. It's somebody saying, I love you, I care about you. I thought about you enough that I wanted to give this to you. Loss of income that comes with running your business. There's loss of connection with your clients. Can't relive it. But like everyone else, it's all about positivity. Where flowers bloom, so does hope. So we have to keep, we have to keep positive. In Rochester, Uba Ali, KTTC News.